tell me a little bit about um, last year's run, and obviously it was a great run in the playoffs, but how can you improve on that, and what are some of the things you take away that can make Adam Central better in 2017? Uh, last year was a great year. It was super fun playing with all those uh, those seniors last year. Those guys are some of my best friends. And um, what, what we have to do to continue that is to get our underclassmen and our new linemen to um, – just work as hard as our as our seniors did last year, and um, hopefully we can go out and maybe get another sectional and a regional again. So we're trying at least. Uh, for you and Logan specifically, um, you know Andrew's gone. He's been a quarterback at Adam Central forever. It seems like yeah. um, you guys have graduated a number of guys. Brandon up front, who's been fantastic. Uh, how much more is put on your guys' shoulders, and what do you do to kind of get some of the guys who are filling in uh, in new roles to get ready for what it's like on Friday night? What's, what's, what's the words of wisdom? What do you tell them? What do you show them? Uh, I don't think there are any, there's, there's no, you can't just like learn what's, on, what's happening on Friday night. You gotta experience it, because the, the varsity game is so much different than the JV game. And uh, I think our guys, hopefully they'll learn that as first quarter of Belmont, hopefully. <laughs> When you take a look at this Adam Central team, how have you been able to maintain such a high level of success no matter who graduates? Um, it's kind of hard uh, being a 1A school, like rebuilding and stuff, and um, sometimes you just don't have the talent. But I think we have great coaches. Like our coaches are, I think, the best in our conference. Uh, Coach Moser, Coach Old, or his dad, Coach Rod Moser, those guys are great. They uh, have been in the game for a long time, and they know what they're doing. What about the momentum? Um, I, not the momentum, really, but the momentum defensively. Because people talk about offense all the time with Adam Central, but they don't realize the numbers you guys put up on D. What is it about that unit that um, has you excited about 2017? And what are some of the things you guys are going to work on before that Belmont game defensively? Um, well, last year we ran a 5-2, and this year we're running a 4-3 with uh, me and Jalen and Logan at linebacker. And those guys are a little small, but and, uh, Logan's a wrestler, so he can bring anybody <laughs> down. And... Uh, our D-line is going to be pretty solid, I think. They're uh, all upperclassmen. They're all big guys, a bunch of big farm kids. So you know, hopefully they can toss some people around. Obviously, you guys had great success last year, great playoff run. What do you take away from that that you can use this year uh, to even maybe take a further step and, and make sure 2017 is, is successful for Adams? Last year, we were a really good team, and we all got along really well. So I hope that we can carry that over as seniors. Hopefully, we can carry that over this year to uh, help the younger kids know what they're doing. When you take a look at um, this team offensively, you guys graduated guys like Andrew, who's been a four-year starter at quarterback, other guys that have, have played prominent roles for you. For you guys that are going to step up into larger roles, uh, how much are you looking forward to that experience, and what did you learn from some of those guys that have now graduated? Um, I'm looking forward to stepping up into a bigger role because it makes me a better person overall and a better player. And uh, I learned that from last year that they taught me a lot about being a good teammate, not just worrying about seniors and juniors and the upperclassmen. You got to worry about everybody. That way you're all one big happy family team, you know. When you take a look at this team, what's priority number one when you hit the turf in, for, for your first practice about a week and a half from now? What's, what's the biggest thing that you guys are be working on? Uh, we got to make sure, since our line isn't as big as it was last year, we got to make sure we're as aggressive as ever, it's like classic AC football. When you talk a look, when you take a look at AC football, how have you guys been able to maintain a level of excellence, no matter who graduates, no matter how the cycle of talent is? You guys have maintained that winning, that winning culture. How have you guys been able to do that? We we have really good coaches, first of all, and we have a good work ethic. We got a lot of farmers that come in, you know, and they're used <laughs> to working hard. And we got good aggressiveness, like I said. Everybody's used to working hard and playing hard, so. Coach Moshe here from Adams Central. Uh, and, Coach, obviously you guys had a, a great run last season. How do you pick up the momentum and take it even a step further this season? Because I'm sure that's the goal for you guys. Oh, it is the goal. I mean, that's the goal for every, every program here is to continue what success you had the year before. And I think the good news is that we got kids that tasted that success that will be able to pick that up and get these young guys, these inexperienced guys, ready to go. But that's, that's the hard part. You know, we, we lose an offensive line. We lose some great skill guys. We got some great skill guys back, but we, we really are inexperienced on the offensive line and defensive lines, and those right now are really what we got to shore up. But, but we have to keep it going, and those guys understand the, uh, the expectations are there, and we got to get them going. Uh, Hammond has graduated. He was a four-year starter, if I recall, yep, at yep. quarterback. Um, you guys have graduated a number of other guys, but it uh, helps to have Drew Schultz, oh, yeah. uh, the big guy back there in the backfield, and Macklin as well. Yep, yep. Logan, Logan Macklin and Drew Schultz will be the, really the, the, the keys 
for other people to stop. You know, and you have to take your pick which one you want to do because both of them do out, do outstanding. I mean, Drew is Drew is going to be able to meet, be Mr. Versatility. I mean, he's going to have to run the ball for us. He's going to have to be in the flats and catch the ball for us. He's going to have to do a lot of different things offensively, but he's also going to have to play defense. So that's that's a key. Can he do it? That's the big question. Mm -hmm. You know, big guy like him, can he go both ways? You know, in a 1A program, we need to be able to do that. But Logan, Logan too has great abilities, and and I think we're going to use him both offensively and defensively as well. I got a, a young quarterback coming up, and Parker Bates. Mm -hmm. uh, he's the brother of Hunter Bates, who was really successful for us a few years ago. Down at Wabash now. Uh, down at Wabash, he's doing a great job there. Uh, and Parker's going to do great. I mean, he he can do some things. He. he Andrew did some things better that he's going to do, but he's going to do some things better than what Andrew was able to do. So I, I think we're going to be able to do some things, and I'm excited about what, what we're going to see out of him. And we've talked a lot about the offense in, in years past about Adam Central. Tell me about the defensive side of the football. Who are some of the guys that you're going to be counting on, and then who are some of the guys that are going to be kind of elevating into to bigger roles on Well, Fridays? that's the big question. I mean, at this point, we got to figure out who's going to step up. Uh, we got a, a lot of good young talent from last year. Jalen Hammond played linebacker for us. Logan Macklin was linebacker safety. Uh, Tyler LaFountain was a defensive end. Uh, other than that, we got guys that are going to have to step up. Drew, like I said, Drew Schultz has to be either a defensive end for us or a linebacker. He's played both. He can do both. But he's going to have to play a, a big role for us. Uh, Gabe Schwaller, one of our uh, 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 corners from last year is going to have to step up and he may have to be an outside backer for us. Those are the guys that we're really going to have to, to depend on. I got two young guys, uh, Trevor Street and Chandler Shoon up front. They're going to have to, to fill in gaps like Brandon Shaneman. How do you, how, how do you ever replace a Brandon Shaneman or a Dylan Shoon who's a brother at a Chandler? You don't replace those guys. You just expect those guys to fill in and do their best. My last question, kind of a big picture question. At, at a 1A school, you have to go with the ebbs and flows of you know, the cycle of athletes yeah. that come yeah. through. But you guys have really maintained a high level throughout, throughout the, yeah. the cycle of athletes. How do you do that, and, and what does that say about your program that um, you guys have been able to, year in and year out, no matter how many changes you've had on the roster, keep a certain level of expectation and performance on Friday? Well, I think it started with what Rick Minnick built at Adams Central. I mean, 30 years experience and the talent that he had and the success that he had uh, just continues to build. I learned a lot from him. I played for him. And really, really those expectations when I came in hasn't changed. We, we expect Adams Central football to be tough, to be gritty, uh, and, and to, to play our best ball at the end. That's what we've been able to do. But I think a big part of that is what Rick started, continuity. You know, we run our same offense that we basically do. We do some variations to it. Um, but, but ultimately, from middle school on up, those guys are, are knowing the plays, they're understanding the terminology, and they understand the expectations. It, it helps to have middle school coaches that have coached there for a number of years that, uh, you know, Sam Beer has been a middle school coach for us for, for years, does our stats for us, and Sam has done an outstanding job of doing it for Rick and now doing it under me. Really, that's the key. Middle school, middle school football is the key of, of building that continuity. So when they come in as freshmen, they understand the expectations. I don't have to bark much because they understand what it is.